Moving on to Chapter 1, Section 4, Rotating Our 3D Image, we have a number of different options to perform this. We can either use the snap views as indicated in the upper right hand corner of the pane within our 3D rendering, such as H for head, F for foot, A for anterior, P for posterior, L for left, and then R for right. We also have the ability where we can hold down the right hand side of our mouse and move the 3D image simultaneously. To demonstrate the rotation functions within our 3D rendering, let's go ahead and left click to maximize our window. And then in the upper right hand corner of this pane, you note the six different snap views. Again, H for head, when the head looking down, F for foot, as if a cemento vertex view as indicated here, similar to our axial view. A for anterior posterior, which is your default view when opening a CT scan posterior anterior as indicated again by the patient position here, left and then finally right. We also have the ability to do a free hand rotation. To perform this task simply position the mouse on top of the anatomy, right click with the mouse and in this case here going from right to left we will rotate the image around to look at the left hand side of our arch. If I wish to look from underneath the patient I can right click underneath the mandible, go vertical, and now I'm looking from underneath our patient. To rotate back down again, simply right click again at the top of our window and bring it down towards the bottom. And at any point in time, if you rotated the anatomy to a point where you're having difficulty making heads or tails as far as your view, simply position the mouse on top of these snap views here, left click and bring the image around to its original orientation.